Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about more Sinfo Gear cards. Well, it's going to be one card, specifically a login card, and it's coming in from Kyle. But before I go ahead and read the message inside Kyle's email, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. So without further ado, let's see what Kyle has to say inside the email. He says, um, hi. I just want to say that and also that the DFE units that I sent you, I update it pretty significantly to bring them more in line with what they could be on JP. I also thought it would be a good idea to just send the document for the celebration itself directly with every unit I've made so far. And inside parentheses, he puts with more coming along the way. So it's easier. Please use that instead of Gmail to access it. Thank you. Have a nice night. And I hope I am not bothering you. You are not bothering me in the slightest. Kyle. Brother, you sent me a lot of cards. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind you guys sending me a lot of cards, but, oh, bro, this is why I love y'all. Look at this! Oh! <laughs> Brother, bro, look, bro, look at all this, like, oh, I'm still scrolling, there's more! There's more! <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, we're not done scrolling. There's more. The dedication it takes for you guys to take the time out of your day and create these custom cards. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, specifically, we're going to be focused on only one card in today's video, that being the login card, aka the gear trio. Um, there's also a note. We're going to read the note and of course we're going to get into the login card, which is pretty much all of this right over here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. So what does he say inside of the note? So note, the units below will actually release in 2027. Prepare yourselves guys. 27, 2027 units as part of a collaboration with an anime called Sinful Gear. And as such would be rather broken if they were to release in 2024 and if he puts in parentheses although i have made more leader skills that fit more in line with the current game if you don't want 200 percent and 170 percent leader skills in one leader skill uh the kits remain unchanged however as a warning because i like them and further furthermore it's gonna highlight what i'm reading uh on a more personal note, I really want to give the anime justice since it's rather underrated and in parentheses. Uh, it released in 2012 and finished five years ago. And that's the end of the parentheses uh, for what he said. And uh, so uh, get ready for some interesting stuff since I molded the kits around the characters themselves rather than any standard such as balance and in parentheses again. I had a bit of help and it was fun and parentheses. Plus, uh, I couldn't decide on which leader to use, so I put both so I could stop worrying. I'm still working on other units for the celebration, and it's honestly tricky. So to whoever is reading this, well, of course, yours truly, uh, consider this my gift to you all. I hope you enjoy this. And one last thing, here are the links uh, to the Part 1 Dokkan Fest exclusives, so you don't have to look through the monster that is uh, the login card and in parentheses LMAO. And then we have the Chris card, which we did read. I'm very certain we read this card, this Chris card right over here. But I don't think we read this Tachibana. I think that's how you say that. Let's take a look at the, the login card. 2027 unit. That's a login card. Okay. All right. So login card, aka uh, the gear trio. They are super tech. Uh, calm, powerful voices amongst those of panic. Uh, Habiki Tachibana. I hope I said that correctly. And of course, you have Chris Yukain, Yukin, and uh, and uh, Subasa Kazanari. Oh my God, bro! These are names I do not say on a normal basis. So please bear with me. <laughs> and their leader skill is Bond of Friendship, three key, and a hundred and twelve percent the stats. And they give a additional 10% to stats to special pose or power of wishes. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and their passive, the power of the relics, they get four key 
and 112% attack and defense, as well as 12% damage reduction up to 27%, and 12% defense up to 60% with each attack received, okay. And they also have a 50% chance to dodge, as well as additional 20% attack and defense after dodging an attack in the same turn, so they get additional attack and defense within the turn for each attack they dodge, cool. And they also get 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Nice. And they also have a 30% chance to seal enemies hit by their super attack. Okay. And they have, uh, what's that? An additional 12% attack and defense per sinful gear or power wishes category ally on the team, excluding self. So they get stronger for having just power wishes slash sinful gear characters. And they get a 50% chance to guard when all allies attack in the same turn belong to the sinful gear category. And they foresee super attacks when HP is 12% or lower, or when facing an enemy who's on the what category? On Crow to Body and Mind. Yeah, okay. And they perform an additional attack that has a 30% chance to become a super attack per existing enemy that also belongs to Crow to Body and Mind. And their super attack, that being Song's triple offense. They get 30% attack and defense for one turn and do immense damage. So first things first. This is a logging card doing immense damage. Alright. Okay. Uh, they build up damage reduction. They have a baseline 50% chance to dodge as well, get, getting stronger with each dodge that they you know, they perform. Um, they, they get an attack and defensive buff from their past their super attack effect. They get stronger per ally on the team, so you essentially want them to be right next to sinful gear slash power wishes category characters um guard chance um being able to see super attacks i mean that's granted you're facing a specific enemy slash being at 12 percent or lower hp which is ridiculous but for whatever reason if you live a super attack and you're below that threshold then you just get that this you get that out and that's obviously something nifty to have on a unit as well as them having additional super attacks now granted some things are restricted about this unit i bet you at some things Quite a few things are restricted about this unit, but they do have additional super attack chance, which is right. So it's pretty, pretty good. So additional super attack chance, uh, foreseeing super attacks, guard chance, dodge chance, damage reduction, stronger for every character that they have on a team, additional attack and defensive buff from their past to super attack effects. They, they look, although they're restricted, they look good for a logging card. They, they do. They, they look all right for a logging card. And you guys know they don't really make logging cards powerful, right? I mean, the Gogeta was a little cool little trophy card that we got from 9th year anniversary. Who's going to be the 10th year anniversary logging card? It's going to be a fusion. It's got to be a fusion. It's absolutely 10 years of Dokkan, bro. We're going to go into 10 years of Dokkan. Okay. Um, I think that's about it for this card. Uh, I would say interesting card interesting card yeah w card yeah a very interesting card this card literally has every defensive ability to fall back on that being guard damage reduction and dodge they get an attack and defensive buff from their passive to their super attack effect they also build up attack and defense each time they dodge which is obviously something nice to have they also foresee super attacks in the right condition as well as having additional super attack chance while going up against the specific enemy they are solid they also have a 30% chance to seal, but, you know, there's that. Um, they're okay. Nothing too crazy. Interesting. Very interesting card. Very interesting card. So that's going to be about it. I don't really have a problem. I can't really go too hard on a login card. Like, like oh, this has to be here. I can't do that. Now, if it's a Dokkan Fest, you know, I, I could probably give, like, my two cents, but it's a login card. I can't really say too much about it. Uh, Kyle, um, W card. Yeah, W. Um, but yeah, send me custom cards over to BHW custom cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. Interesting login card for sure. The gear trio. Okay. I wonder how I'm going to do a thumbnail on, uh, these three, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.